Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Sean Gardenapo. And we're from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada. Today, Sean and I will take a look back at the second quarter real estate market activity down in Washoe Valley. And please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons below. All right, let's take a look inside the MLS and see what happened around Washoe Lake. Let's do it. Eight fewer homes sold in 2019 than did in this period in 2018. That's about a 33% drop. In other areas of Reno or Carson City, this would have been a concern, but the areas around Washoe Lake are not as densely populated with homes. So low unit sales are almost expected. However, since these homes have a lot more acreage and some are nestled in the mountains with incredible lake views, the median prices are higher than the Reno average. Median in 2019 did drop about 5% from 2018, yet 479,000 is still a reasonable median given the seclusion of some of these homes. Percent of ask received for this area was 97.6%. That's nearly a 3% jump from 2018. That's not a big deal after a second glance when we see that last year, five properties conceded 100,000 each to sell, including 5555 East Lake Boulevard, a massive 80 acre compound that took nearly four years to sell. Average days on market was also skewed by that East Lake compound, driving the 2018 average up to 200 days compared to just 106 in 2019. If you remove East Lake from that 2018 equation, you still get an 153 average because of four other properties needed more than a year to sell. And for more market reports, click the link you see in the upper right corner now. There's your look back at the second quarter market action down in Washoe Lake. And if you found this information helpful, please share this to your social media too. That'll do it for us this month from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group Inc. in Reno, Nevada. I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Sean Gardenapo. We'll see you next month.